Statistics show that nationwide young people age 18 to 24 make up the fastest growing segment of the homeless population. Kentucky's two largest cities are taking the issue head on. And today we talk with frontline advocates fighting homelessness in Louisville and Lexington. And we start with Charlie Lanter, who runs the Office for Homeless Prevention here in, uh, here in Lexington. Uh, we talk a lot about, for a few minutes, about the numbers and what they mean. But an interesting point that we were just discussing is we think about in eastern Kentucky, we hear that one in five students there experience homelessness and, and there's a thousand, um, nearly a thousand, 726 or so in the last snapshot that was done here in Lexington, Fayette County. But you talk about how these are transient folks. So maybe perhaps the Hope Center, which is uh, one of the facilities that helps people in this situation, mm -hmm. many of those people aren't just from Fayette County. No, I mean, a lot of folks you know, from throughout the Commonwealth if they fall on hard times, they, they come to Lexington because we had a lot of services available. We have a lot of opportunities available. Um, what I explain to folks is they come for the same reason anyone would come mm -hmm. to Lexington. They come for jobs, they come for education, they come for medical care. Um, and so there's certainly nothing wrong with that. Uh, and we just need to make that part of our system to address homelessness and poverty in our community because we know folks are coming. Uh, mm -hmm. and. Uh, that just makes it all the more important that we address this as a statewide issue, as a Commonwealth issue, uh, because poverty and homelessness here affects co poverty and homelessness anywhere in the state. And is that the discussion we're not having? You've spent a great deal of your career before you even got to this particular office and working in poverty eradication efforts with the Community Action Council, and you still work with them mm -hmm. in coordinating these efforts. But poverty really is uh, the centerpiece of why this is really happening, but yet we seem to be afraid as a society to really have that conversation about income inequality. Yeah, it's, it contributes to so many things. I mean, homelessness, if you think about it, is really just a symptom or a side effect of other issues. Poverty, substance use, our failure to appropriately address mental illness. Um, you know, if, if we could address those things, you could put me out of business. Right. <laughs> and when we think about some of the homeless population, just as in any other part of our society, things like drug addiction and mental health issues play a part. How much of a factor are those when it comes to looking and evaluating homelessness? Every, every case of homelessness is different, um, but certainly there are, are common themes. Um, well over 50% uh, you find substance use or, or addiction of some level, uh, at least about half is the same with mental illness. You, so you still see a lot of severe mental illness. Um, but then you do have people who just fell in hard times. It's, it, poverty and homelessness have a lot in common. You know, with mm -hmm. poverty, sometimes it's generational and sometimes it's situational. Same thing with homelessness. Sometimes they've, they've fallen through and there's been a whole series of things that has led to it. Substance abuse, mental illness, a whole collapse. Right. Other times it's just situational. They couldn't pay their rent this month and so they fell out. Well, we talk more about all of those things with Charlie Lanter coming up on Connections Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2 and Sunday at 1 o'clock Eastern Time or 1.30 Eastern Time on KET, the main channel. We do hope you'll join us and you can watch online anytime, KET.org slash connections.